Please welcome the 2022 Ohi Courage Award recipient, Masa Alinejad. Hello, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor for me, a real honor, to be here tonight alongside President Zelensky and receive Ohide Award. But I want to dedicate this award to the brave women of Iran. Because two months ago, when I received the email about this award, no one knew that there is going to be a revolution led by women inside Iran. So this is the moment that all of us know that. The word Ohi is the most beautiful word for Iranians. So I want to dedicate this award to brave women inside Iran. And I want to repeat their words. I came here tonight. As soon as I learned the word Ohi means no, I said that I'm going there to say Ohi to gender apartheid regime. No to Khamenei as, and his gangs of killers. But let's be honest. Say no to Khamenei, saying no to gender apartheid, saying no to the killers of the Islamic Republic is easy here. Being surrounded by many security bodyguards. So that is why I left my speech there. I changed everything. So I came here to actually talk to you from my heart that eight years ago, when I launched my campaign against compulsory hijab, brave women of Iran joined us. Saba Kordafshari, only 22 years old, she removed her hijab, walking on veil, saying no to compulsory hijab, or he to the regime. She got arrested, received 24 years prison sentence before Coming here, I was telling myself that she already said ohi to gender apartheid regime. Yasaman Aryani, only 22 years old, she joined White Wednesday's campaign. She received 16 years prison sentence. Mojgan Keshavars, 33 years prison sentence. I felt guilty. I felt bad. I felt the burden on my shoulder. What happened? Their mothers joined to the streets, to the civil disobedience movement, and they said no to gender apartheid regime as well. For years and years, none of the female politicians from the Western countries who went to Iran dared to say no to compulsory hijab laws. They were downplaying our cause. They abandoned us. So today, I am here to say that there is no need for Mahsa Amini to be killed for the whole world to recognize and understand these brave women and repeat their voice to say no to forced hijab, no to gender apartheid regime. There was no need for Nika Shah Karami, only 16 year old, who get killed in the street to for, for the whole world to understand that they can say no as well. There was no need for Sarina Smailzadeh, only 16. For Siavash Mahmoudi, only 16. For Ghazale, for many teenagers, TikTok generations. 
young schoolgirls, men and women shoulder to shoulder to get killed, to say no. So today, I want to use this opportunity. I want to thank Ohide Courage. I want to thank everyone to give me this opportunity, actually, to tell the rest of the world that this is the moment that we, the people of Iran and Ukraine, must be united because we are not fighting for ourselves. We are fighting for the whole world. Women inside Iran risking their lives to tell the democratic countries that if we do not get united to end the terrorists like Putin and Khamenei, believe me, they will get united and they end democracy. So this is the time for all of us here in the West to say no to normalizing Putin and Khamenei. In 2022, our broken heart and the broken heart of the Ukrainians, we understood that this is the time that we have to be united. When the Revolutionary Guard shot down the Ukrainian airplane and killed 176 innocent passengers, now these family members of those victims saying no to gender apartheid regime, no to Islamic Republic, the same regime is helping Putin, sending drones, sending weapons to Putin to kill innocent Ukrainians. So you see, dictators are united, more united than democratic countries. So that is why let's say no to those democratic countries that they can say no to, the, to Putin and Khamenei, but they're still sick to get a deal with our murderers. This is the moment that our unity against the united dictators must be stronger than ever. Thank you so much.